Hi and welcome to the Tactical Alert Overtake. From what I've heard, this is actually a pretty hard one. And it consists of is it hijack missions? So you want an, a frame that has huge shields. The rewards to this are pretty simple, if Frost will stop punching the floor for a second. The first one is an upgrade to the Stratos emblem, or the actual emblem if you haven't got it already. The second one, which as far as I can tell you just got to do two of these missions, the Astral Twilight is a, a mod, a throwing weapon stance. From what I've heard, you need a pretty decent throwing weapon, so I'm going to take the Halakar here. It just hit us. Um, is this... There it is. Do not be... Uh... Eh? I have a throwing melee weapon. It requires a throwing melee weapon. I have one. It's in my arm. Okay, so you've got to take either the glaive or the other one. The boomerang style one. That is a bit of a pain. It's a shame you can't take that one though. I don't want to get too presumptuous here, but the way we did it was... Oh no, I've got the wrong emblem on me back. Uh, Valkyrie to kill things in Hysteria with basically narrow-minded build. Um, Nyx to sit on top of the vehicle, I'm assuming. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, that happened. Wow, that was instant shield death. So, I'm not really sure what the limbo's for. We'll find out when we get there, because these guys have got a plan. I am literally just playing second fiddle in the hope that I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Of course, being able to see would help. What was that? Okay, um, that was a mistake. It turns out the nullifiers are... They actually take off hysteria. That would have been nice to know before I activated it. Give me enough power to... Oh, damn it! Magnetic damage! Okay, give me some power. Give me some power. Give me some power. Thank you. So this is, let's just say, interesting. I'm basically finding myself just running forward and trying to take care of those guys up there. And hoping for the best. Now I'm going to go back because I can see that coming behind them. I'm not letting them get past us. You aren't getting past. I don't care if I die. I'm not getting past. Okay, I'm trying to activate my super, <laughs> my uber ability while inside of the flaming bubble. Wow, that is huge. But made it finally. Wow, this mission is actually ridiculously hard. But we got so close at one point, I've actually got it recorded and we'll fit that in here. This is working pretty well. Plus it's taking the shields off them and doing a bit of damage at the same time. So it is really hard. This is my third attempt just to get the first one done. Oh no 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 no. If they're inside of the bubble you cannot take their shields. But luckily Mag shield is immune to it. Now, I'm sorry guys, but I'm just gonna... Oh, so close! Look at it! Oh, damn it! There is the Stratos barge there. Looks pretty nice, actually. It is coming along really nicely. I'm kind of hoping, because you'll notice the middle bits are actually a different colour. They could literally just leave it like that and then colour each individual part for the next... What is that? Five? Yeah, five badges that could add colour into it. Because the Stratos badge evolves the more of these missions you do. Obviously you can't do the same one over and over again. Second run, pretty much same kind of technique as the first time, only this time I know what the hell I'm doing. Stay out of the goddamn bubbles and keep up with Saren. <laughs> yeah, it worked pretty well. Uh, as I say, try and keep out the bubbles. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, damn it. I went inside, didn't I? Yep. Crap. Well, luckily I did find a, a team after the, I think it was five attempts I tried and failed miserably on. 
set up. We're getting too far behind, actually. But luckily, this team had actually just done their second run, so... Thanks to them, I actually managed to get my second run in. Otherwise, I would have been pretty much stuck trying to find another team, because... It's, you have to find a team to do this. If you do not find a team, or then it is still possible, but it's not as possible. I'm not going inside that bubble. That is a death sentence. Quite literally. Because it just pulls you straight out of that. And there's the second run. There's the Astral Twilight stance. It does only fit Glaives. That would be the second one. So now we have Gleaming Talon and Astral Twilight. And obviously you need to fuse it to get them, that's all the red text means. And they look pretty easy to actually pull off, so I'm going to level this up, drop some mods into it, and see if we can demonstrate the stance a little bit. Wow, I actually do like this. Um, come on, do it, do it, do it. Why is it? Ah. I was pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, what an idiot. So the first one's actually pretty decent, I mean... That threw it out there, what, four or five times? I mean, that is that is just impressive in its alone in itself. Uh, let's go take these guys out. Obviously, the damage means absolutely nothing. We're just talking about the stance itself. And, holy crap. Wow, this is actually a very, very <laughs> impressive stance. I mean, that one there, I have absolutely no idea how I'm doing that or what combo it is. This one is the one that requires you to block first. But that one... Yeah, that's actually just the normal attack combo. I'm just hitting melee and just literally mashing it. But that one... I'm actually channeling while doing it and it actually that looks really nice. Obviously you've got the other one which is holding back part way through. Also looks really nice. Uh, the, even though I'm not actually channeling that. That I'm channeling but I'm not channeling it now. For some reason it just starts leaving a, a trail behind it. Oh it's because that's the colour of the trail. It's the same colour. But the stance looks pretty impressive actually. I just wish it was a lot easier to actually aim the glaives. But this stance would have made that event much, much easier. And much more fun having the stance like this. That and the enemies are actually dying this time round. Whereas in that one they were pretty hard to kill. I am really liking this stance. Not sure if they're actually going to add this into the game or just leave it as a it was available through the tactical alerts only. Because they say they're going to do this every now and then, but it always ends up in the game somehow. So this one will probably end up. So if you've missed it, don't worry. It probably will end up in the game eventually. When? No idea. So there's not only that, there's been a few changes. They've added a mastery test going from 18 to 19 yes that is right mastery test uh, mastery rank 19 is possible uh, I'm assuming you will need the the Bratton Vandal the bane of my existence and the Lato Prime to be able to actually get to 19 either that or they've actually preemptively it so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. So hopefully there'll be a new weapon to try that out. And there's been a lot of other fixes and all the rest of it. Like uh, Ember, apparently she wasn't getting a power. But they fixed that as well. So we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.